here we are teaching MMTs about bear market uh, bottoms versus uh, bull rally pullbacks and how the accumulative effect has been in four days in play at the bottom from all of the selling all the way down in the S&P. And that was a 200 point drop. Now, from the volatility that picks up in bear market bottoms, they always get accumulated at the bottom as you can see here. The up days, though, um, were about as equal as that day. So this day is very important on the S&P as to how far that it goes up here. We would like to see it come back up here so that the volatility part of one of the days, we're accumulating the current bottom on the S&P 500 on a daily level. And this is today's big move up, and the S&P is up 35 handles, 1,156 right here, right now. Okay, the thing about bear market bottoms and how to operate within bear market bottoms is the accumulative effect from the original selling to the current macro event of being extremely oversold where turns take place. And in order for these turns to take place, there has to be a clear, clear directional uh, sea change as far as understanding the bottom effect from the selling up here. The selling started over here when we were shorting the S&P at 1350. And when it would break below 1300, you were going to really come down. Now, from the original reversal to the dog days of August accumulative effect at a bottom, how uh, bear market bottoms get put in, how to trade bear markets. And it's always going to be that the volatility at every bear market short term bottom, whether it holds or not, is always going to increase in price action volatility at bottoms in both down and up moves. The key is MMTs that the 10 day simple movement average is going to be ultimately the upside resistance which is going to be right here where that last down bar. That was the blow off bottom in the cycle and the, the bottom up, the top down, the bottom up and we're holding that four day consolidation base as of 7.53 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 8.11 of 2011. Put to call ratio is in favor of a short term bear market uh, bottom as we can see the accumulative effect. The key is, once again, the upside volatility must be as great as the downside volatility from yesterday. And we've only been involved in the market in the first one hour and 30 minutes on 8 11 of 2011 on the S&P 500 and it's bear market volatility and how accumulation MMTs and how these things are going to be are working every single day we've been going through the exact training on them and how it works on the up days long and the short days down and the up days long and the short days down now 